Yo, what's up? Bringing you the MLB Show 21. So, another day with the no money spent. We do got some packs to open up, so we will get into those. But we did do some of the player programs or finished up some of the player programs. So let's start off with that. Obviously, with the June daily moments, every day you get a moment. And if you do it, you end up, you know, progressing towards this program. We ended up getting our second June evolution pack and we picked Gary Carter. We did Ozzy Smith the first time around. So today we pretty much did Gary Carter's whole set of moments and missions. And actually going back to that, we're at what, 17 points. So I guess sometime next week we should have this Zach Britton card. And you know, that's a pretty nice card to, you know, try to get. Do the daily moments. You get a free bullpen guy that's a lefty. Should be a really solid card. So you definitely want to try to stay up to date with these. They reset every day at 12 p.m. Eastern. So, you know, you want to you want to do those. You definitely want to do those. And obviously, as the year progresses, those rewards will end up being better. But as far as the actual player program goes for Gary Carter, I will say whether you're doing Gary Carter or Ozzie Smith, the moments absolutely suck. <laughs> they absolutely suck. But we had a hit. Actually, that's stage two. So stage one. You had to get three total bases, and I'm pretty sure these are with like the silver card, and then tally four total bases, and then for stage two, you had to hit a home run, tally two total bases, tally five extra base hits in three games. This one was kind of difficult, and then hit a home run. So the moments definitely took some time, and then we got the three home runs with catchers. So what I did, play versus CPU, filled my whole team up with catchers. And then got the three home runs, quit out, called it a day. And then we just did the exchange because I'm not trying to do I'm not trying to do this mission where you got to get extra base hits with Gary Carter or, you know, get home runs with Mets and hits with Gary Carter online. I'm not I'm not trying to do all that stuff. So we just did the exchange and going back to it. The card we get is this 91 overall 60 contact versus righties, 99 versus lefties, 76 power versus righties, 78 versus lefties, 101 vision. So an okay looking card, got gold tier defense, 38 speed, can play catcher first, left and right field. You know, nothing, nothing crazy, but that's the card we ended up getting. So with doing that card, we get to do this collection right here and get that 15,000 XP and a thousand stubs. So that's kind of another reason to do it. The XP is one reason to do it, but also for like future collections, you know, getting those cards is pretty nice. But by doing that, we did max out the third inning program. So I think we already opened up the 10 pack bundle and now we have an 85 to 89 diamond live series choice pack to open up. So we're going to go ahead, open up these packs, see what we get out of them. And then we'll kind of see what we go, what we end up doing from there. But we got 14 show packs. So maybe I didn't open up the 10 pack bundle and then a silver pack, a set five headliner. This right here is from the daily moments. And some of these packs are also from the Gary Carter moment, and then obviously we got the Diamond Choice pack. So start off with the silver. Do we get anything better than a silver? Nope, not today. And then 14 show packs. Let's see what we end up getting out of these. A diamond would be kind of nice, but you know how these packs always go. We also, as you guys know, we've been investing in other cards, so we'll kind of go over that a little bit more, and then we'll just we'll see what we'll see what happens with these packs. <laughs> we'll see what happens with these packs before we you know we go into talking about anything else. But yeah, these packs right now don't really expect much from show packs, but obviously, you know, whenever you're opening up packs, you're just, you're just hoping. See, that's what we're hoping for. We're just hoping for a diamond pool and we get one. Not going to be a nice diamond pool. Nope. <laughs> Always a low end guy. Looks like a righty. Looks like it could be like a Corbin Burns or a Woodruff or a card like that. So let's see. Or Yates. Okay. I mean, Yates works too, I guess. I don't think he's expensive. You know, I'm pretty sure he's like a 5k card right there. But Kirby Yates, Diamond Pool, extra stubs. So, you know, that's kind of why we do all this stuff is for the packs. And, you know, just for the, the low odds of maybe pulling a diamond, which we ended up doing. So, we'll definitely take that. Now, another diamond in the next six would be super nice. But, you know, we don't really expect another one, to be honest. You know, we'll take our one, be happy with that, move on to the rest. So, Silver right there, Navarez. See what we can get in these last four, though. Also, let me know how you guys are doing so far with the no money spent, where you guys are at, what you guys are working on. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I don't I don't really know where to go and where to cover or what stuff to cover anymore because, you know, we've done so much. So honestly, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. And then we can kind of talk over that stuff in the next videos. But set five headliner chance at Yvonne Rodriguez. 
I just want to pull one diamond from a headliner. We've been over so far, and we stay over. So now live series diamond pack. Um, I don't think there's really any that are good that are 85 to 89. So let's see. We got Yates, Chapman, Machado. Machado is 55k. Really? He's that cheap? So Chapman's obviously the most expensive. We're gonna take him, and I guess I guess that's our choice pack, right? So, yeah, let's just take Chapman, call it a day right there. Again, there's not that many good choices that we could have taken right there. You know, a lot of the 85 to 89s are pretty cheap. So, actually, I think Chapman might have been the best one to actually pull. So, let's go ahead and list him really quick, and then let's see what else we have to go over. But, again, we're so far ahead. We're just at, like, the wait and see period where, you know, we don't have to really do that much, but just play ranked seasons and do the online content. Another thing, just giving an update on this, because, like, we're starting to get our orders at 2,000. Actually, we might have gotten them all. Do I have any more actives? Oh, and we got two more active orders. <laughs> but we just got 38 of these. Or what was that? How many? <laughs> yeah, I'm struggling. We got 36 of these. So 36 times 5K again. You know, what I did before he got upgraded. So when this card was a gold, I put 38 orders in at 2000 and i think 12 at 2500 and they're still getting sold so we made some good stubs so i guess a tip for you guys for the future like if a player is about to get upgraded i don't know a player right now that i can look at and be like oh maybe he gets upgraded <laughs> i don't know lance lynn like lance lynn just got upgraded so he's not one and is there anyone else that's like oh they're super close to getting upgraded i don't know I don't know. Here, I'll look at, I'll look at someone like Starling Marte, right? Because Marte, he's been playing really good. So instead of putting in orders or a bunch of orders in at 3,300, put them in at like 2,500 or 2,000. And if he gets upgraded, everyone will just start selling them and you can get some that way, you know? And that's only if the sellable price ends up getting zero. But normally when there's a, a gold card that gets upgraded, their price, you know, their sellable price ends up going to zero and then everyone just starts putting it at 5k again. So yeah, you know, that's one thing. And then the other thing is going back to like our main investment right now. And that's the, the kitchen sink packs. We definitely picked up some more cards. Actually, I still have active orders, right? So yeah, like you guys see right here, I'm trying to pick up Jimenez, some more Keikos, and then also the big guys just to be able to debut them and try them out. So Got to get Sean Green, and then we pretty much have everyone, so we can do a kitchen sink two team build. So that's kind of what we're going to do sometime this week. I'm taking a couple days off of rank before we jump back in to this next season. We'll probably have something tomorrow, though. So, yeah, we got to try to pick up these cards. But award series, Keiko, 11,200. We'll probably pick up some more of him because we got 58k stubs to spend. And actually, if we just go ahead right now and quick sell those Kevin Gosmans, and we just got one more. So I think we got one more left. To end up getting but going into our inventory and then right here for gosman we got 38 so yeah i think we got all of them his buy now is 5400 so there's no reason to sell him at that price because if we do he's gonna go under 5k so we just got our last kevin gosman so we got 38 of these times 2000 we spent 76k on these cards you know at 2000 and that's 70k that 76k is going to turn into 190,000. So that was that was a nice little last minute investment. And like I said, this is something that you might want to do for, you know, players that you think could get upgraded but don't want to spend the highest price. So we just got a quick 190k, jumped us right up to 248. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So, you know, with that 248, we're probably going to invest it more into the kitchen sink cards. And I think that's it for us. You know, we're just we're trying to do everything we can to make stubs right now without playing, right? So we're just trying to invest in cards. We're at the point where we did all the collections. So if you guys have been somewhat following, you know what we're investing in right now and what you guys can invest in. And I think I have like seven, 800K invested in the kitchen sink guys. So whenever those go out of rotation, probably Friday, you know, we'll give them a week. Maybe they go up to 20K and then we make like a quick 500, 600K. And then we just rinse and repeat that cycle pretty much. But that's going to do it for this one. You know, we had the diamond pool, which was kind of nice. The live series diamond choice pack. We made a quick 190K just like that. So yeah, I don't, I don't really know what else to go over. But again, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And we definitely can go over that stuff. But until then, if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. Drop a like in the video. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm out.